Hey, good day everyone. So today is day number two from here in Cuba. So yesterday we spent the day in Havana. However, last night we caught a bus to take us here to Holguin, over 700 kilometers to the east. So it's a completely different feel, completely different place in Cuba. Uh, we're here to meet with our friends Anel and Steve and uh, we're just walking to their place now. They are very nice to book us a spot not far from where they live. And uh, today we have no set plans, but we know we're going to uh, dive into the Cuban culture. Day two of our journey was just as exciting as day one. After spending 11 hours, it took to cross the island on our overnight bus. Seeing our friends Anel and Steve made the trip well worth it. Although living and working in Canada now, Cuba, and specifically Holguin, was Anel's home. Meeting them at their house, we decided to spend some time on the deck. During a brief 25 seconds of time, we saw the perfect representation of Cuba's diversity on its roads. Yeah, new truck, horse and buggy, old car. Wow. And then you got the old Russian. A lot of flatters and muscovies. So we are on one of the many forms of transportation here in Cuba. And this is a BC. And uh, we are on our way now to find uh, Anel and Steve. We're going to be heading into the downtown portion of Polgin and showing you guys around there. So we have been dropped off in uh, Polgin Central Square. Uh, this was all pre-arranged for us so we had no idea A where we were going and B where to find our friends. So for now uh, I guess we're just going to wait around and see if we can connect with them. And we have found the other half of our journey today. They have come in the same method as us. It was a quick 10 minute BC ride from our place to the city square. I was excited to be back in Holguin. I had the chance to visit here once before on my first ever trip outside of North America. It's not often that you get to come to a country like this and have things familiar. It was nice. Stopping for a quick bite to eat and of course a mojito or two we relaxed at one of the outside patios. Here, we were serenaded by a group of local musicians. As we made our way through the city, Anel took the time to give us a bit of background of not only the city, but her country. Holguin is the fourth largest city in Cuba, with a population of about 350,000 people. The area was home to the Taino people prior to the Spanish arriving. Many museums in the area focus on the early part of this country's history, telling the story of its indigenous community. The city was officially founded in 1523, and was named after the Spanish military officer Diego Rodriguez de Silva de Vallecas, who donated the land. Holguin has a lot to offer for what many may consider a small city. Its airport not only connects travelers within the country, but also internationally with flights from Europe and Canada. The brewery Cerveceria Bucanero is based in the city and makes two of the most common and popular beer brands found within Cuba. Bucanero and Cristal. Of the two, Cristal is probably the most widespread and would be many of the locals' go-to beer. It's light and refreshing and would compare to many of the brands seen in North America like Molson Canadian in Canada, Labatt Blue in the USA, and Sol in Mexico. We, however, preferred the harder to find Bucanero as it had a greater depth of taste. The central square is where you can find and connect with the history of Cuba. 
Waller talks about the challenges Cuba faced to free itself from the control of other countries. Monuments to Jose Marti are often found throughout the country as he spearheaded the revolution, only to be finished by Fidel Castro and others in the late 1950s. You can see one of the city's main attractions from the square, Loma de la Cruz, or Hill of the Cross, where you can climb the 450 stairs for a view of the entire city, and a place you'll get a closer look at in the next video. We finished our day by exploring Iglesia San Jose. In 1492, Christopher Columbus landed on the outskirts of modern day Holguin and claimed this land for Spain. The Christian religion would have been brought to the island as religious officials attempted to convert the locals. Today, Christian churches can be found throughout the country, as it's perhaps the most widely practiced religion. Smaller bands of people also engage in religious services that touch on their African roots. Finishing up our time in the central plaza of Hogin, we opted for taking one of the most unique forms of public transportation I've seen anywhere, horse and buggy. Cuba is a place that allows you to go back in time. It's a place where life is slow and people embrace the simplicity of life. It's a welcome change from the busy lives we lead at home. But for me, I wonder if I would get bored living here as I'm so used to the wide array of entertainment options back home. But I also feel like I would adjust easily to this relaxed way of life. What about you? Curious about traveling through Cuba? Be sure to check our website for more written information about our time here. Or check out our excursions where we take you to this amazing country with a completely authentic experience. Find us at joshuatravelguy.ca. Be sure to share this video if you enjoyed it, because together we can share the world.